All right, everybody, here's episode two. Um, this is the world we had up last time, and as you can see, I've done nothing to it. The only thing I was going to do is just before we load it up in game is show you how to load it up in game. So what you want to first make sure you do is put your spawn point in now. I've got this little red dot here. That's my spawn point. But what you want to do is this little crosshair up here. Click that and put it wherever you want. So say you want to spawn on this island in the center of our lake. Just click there and that is now our new spawn point. You don't have to worry about the vertical height, the up and down. It puts it right on the top of the land. So that said, we're going to save our world. I just named it Generated World for now. Uh, overwrite. File Save. Now we export the world. And this goes to, right now it's going to my server folder, but that's fine. We'll just call this YouTube. Y-U-T-U-B-E. And some options here when we export the world. We can have a border around the world. We can have no border. We can have a void, lava, all that stuff. So we're just going to use water. Caverns. I say no to that for now, and I'll show you in the future tutorial how caverns work. They're a little different in this game. They're not quite the same as caves. Um, and they can break the surface if you don't do it right or you, if you're not sure where to put them. So I'll leave that alone for now. Resources. Here's the awesome part of this. You can control all resources in your world. So you can go resources everywhere. And you can just crank this right up so you have a lot or very little or somewhere in between. And occurrence. For every resource type you can change the height level and the percentage. So we're just gonna, let, I don't like water in the world. I don't like lava in the world, so we're going to say no to that. Um, you know, this doesn't even matter right now. We'll turn this off. And the other layers are allow Minecraft to populate the entire terrain, allow or deciduous forest everywhere, or pine forest, or frost. So I'm going to leave this Minecraft populate the entire terrain true for now, because as you can see, it's going to cause Minecraft to generate trees, water pools. What else does it say there? Uh, lava pools, pockets of dirt, gravel, coal all that stuff. Uh, I haven't put trees down yet and I haven't shown you really how to do that so I'm gonna let that happen and we want it to be in creative mode and it's 1.2 format and we just say export and here's where we wait so this is gonna go ahead it's gonna put the map in the right place I'm gonna stop the recording now and next time you see me or hear from me we'll be in game alright everyone here we are we are on this island that I put in the middle of this lake and uh, oh there's our mountain okay I needed some kind of reference and there it is so let's go and check out our mountain and as you can see all these trees are basically the minecraft trees minecraft populated all the trees um, the sand as you know is sand I put around this lake and as well as little islands but let's go check out our mountain because the mountain is what we worked on oh and there's some more hill over here it's taking its time to load I'm just gonna get down on the ground here. And we'll walk. All right, let's get over there. All right, uh, I, you know I think walking sucks. Let's let's fly. This here will low. There we go. Ah, look at that a little lake. That see that there, there. I didn't put this here. This is something Minecraft put here when I told it to populate the world. Uh, that includes little lakes and lava lakes. So. Keep that in mind, folks, if you're going to be letting Minecraft populate your world. Um, the next video I do, I'm going to show you how to put in pine trees and the deciduous trees. But for now, I think we need to go up and up and up to the top of this mountain here. Let's get over to a spot where we can see it. Here we go. Way up. Holy crap, way up. And here we go. The highest peak. Get up here. There we go. This is. Uh, come on. There we go. There. This is our world. This is our world that is still loading. So, you can see our mountain. I'm going to pull away here. You can take a look at our mountain. And you can see how that cobblestone, stone, and gravel has a nice little look to it. Uh, and the other texture pack I use, the John Smith pack, I really like that look a lot. Um, and it's not so bad looking here. Cobblestone might look a little out of place, but um, you know I really like it in the John Smith pack, so I'm going to continue doing that in my worlds. Now over this way we should have a jungle, and we should have a little pond in said jungle. 
and let's continue on. You notice all the biome is the same. It's all the nice green forest biome. Ah, here we go. Here's our jungle. And what a jungle it is. Look how, look how dark it is in there. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go get lost in this jungle. I'm a little afraid. It's too dark. Wow, there's even the creepy music. That's not a good sign. Let's see if we can find one of those ocelots. They've got to be in here somewhere. Well, if not, here's our. Um, oh, wait a second. Ah, uh, let me log out for a sec, guys. All right, here we go. Yeah, see, as you can see, there's all kinds of shrubs and stuff in front of me, but they weren't showing a moment ago. So anyhow, here is our lake that we put in the jungle. Now this lake, this is the one I want to make a nice waterfall out of. And as you can see, right over here is where I've lowered the water a little bit. And the plan is make the waterfall. So what I would do in a situation like this, uh, Basically, I'm just going to break away this tree. And we'll do this real quick here. I'm just going to pause the video while I clear. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to break away a couple of these trees. And I'm going to clear this bit of land. I won't break any land, but I'm going to get this prepared for making a waterfall. So, starting right now. Alright guys, I cleaned up all the shrubs, all the trees, everything right here. These ones are pretty big and I think they would be a nice overhang for the waterfall, so I'm going to leave them. But what I do is basically figure out where the water is going to come from. And here it's going to come from these two spots. Uh, now, I don't want to open this up just yet because I don't want the water flowing through as I'm doing this. But I am going to clear the way where I want the water to come from. As you can see... So this is going to be all water here and here. Now I need to start bringing it down. And keep in mind, it's going to be coming on an angle here, guys. So we want to make sure we keep this on a good angle. But at the same time, we want control. We don't want we don't want the water to come up here and spill off off on the side. So we need to get some blocks in our inventory here. We need some grass. We need some dirt. And a piece of gravel or stone stone is a good one to have too. Uh, where is it here? Gravel. That'll do. Alright. So water's going to come down here. And through here. And this actually might be alright. I might not even need any gravel. But you, you might want to have some gravel in behind the water or even some uh, stone or anything loose just to make it look like water's been beaten at it for a while. And we'll break this here. Uh, now, okay, I think this might be good. So the water is just gonna come straight out and down there. Okay, let's, uh, let's let the water flow. And that's what we get. So now little tricks here. Take a block here and let go of it. And get rid of it. Put a block here, get rid of it. Block right here. Just kind of put a block down underneath and it will force the water to move. Like that. And let's say you want the water to come over to the right. Put that there then remove it. Same with here. And back up and take a look. Looking nice so far, but we need a little more on the right hand side. So we're going to break this right down here. And I'll take a block in here. Like that. Alright. There we go. And we've got our waterfall. Let me day. Now let's say you want to put a little secret hideout behind here. I mean that's simple. You guys can figure that out. Just dig something in. You can almost just dig a little trail right in behind the waterfall if you wanted. However, if you do that and then import this back into the world painter, 
your hideout will not be there. What happens is in the World Painter, it goes by height map, so the highest value gets recorded. Like if you go ahead and say, let me see, you go ahead and you just make out this big, huge room here, and you make it really awesome. Well, this is going to get filled in with whatever the highest value is here in the case, dirt or stone if it's so far down. But that's it. That's this world. Um, so we see our. I'm just gonna quickly go around, and you've seen our beach area. You've seen our little waterfall we just made. Lots and lots of jungle here. And let's see. We've got our mountain you saw. That's pretty much it to the world. So uh, it's a pretty basic tutorial. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys want any more from me, let me know. I'm going to work on trying to do some things like volcanoes and canyons and, uh, you know, rivers and valleys and all kinds of that stuff. So you guys let me know what you want and I will make sure I get those videos out to you as soon as I can. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out the link I put down for World Painter. Help support the guy who made this program. And, uh, yeah, like the video and talk, talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching.